Jeff has come out that there will be no haggling uh, inside his store, which is which is how traditional retail works. You can't go into Walmart and you know haggle with Walmart and try to get a deal. It's funny when people come into the shop, those that I've never really seen before, first time I'm meeting them, or maybe even people that haven't been there in a long time, just automatically think that they can barter and haggle for the best possible pricing or the lowest possible pricing. And I love giving deals out to people, especially when they're either consistent customers, good friends of mine, or if they're buying you know, a lot of cards at a very high price tag. But it's just so funny to me that people just assume that haggling is just kind of part of the practice and part of nature in terms of going to a hobby shop, any hobby shop for that matter. I mean, a lot of people think that they can just go to any small business or any hobby shops, whether that's sports cards, comics, action figures, video games, just really wherever. And just kind of think like, oh, it's listed for $29.99. Oh, you take $20 for it, $25. And it's just like really confusing to me, especially when it comes to like the, the retail boxes, you know, most specifically, because all my retail boxes are msrp price retail pricing and not every hobby shop can make that claim i don't know how many of them do to be honest and people will look at it and be like 25 well you take 20 for it dude you go to target you go to walmart you're paying 25 dollars plus tax whatever the tax is in your state here in rhode island seven percent so what is that 26 10 i think it is and it's just like it's already cheaper than what you're gonna pay for at the big box store which a lot of people do without questioning their decision or questioning their purchase. Like why do people think that they can try to haggle, negotiate small business hobby shops? When you go to Walmart or Target, nobody thinks about doing it there. Not a soul considers $25, done. $55 for a mega box, done. Go to the register without second guessing that decision and i understand that people you know who come to the shop they could probably buy it online but again now you're paying shipping maybe again fees taxes you gotta wait you gotta hope that it comes in in good shape that it's not damaged you're actually getting what you're getting i mean there's so much that goes into it there's so many variables it's really not black or white but it's just i don't want to say it's disheartening because I guess it's kind of what you really sign up for in this hobby. I mean, I guess I do it too when I go to shows, not shops. But when I go to shows, you know, I'm always, you know, trying to wheel and deal. But I'm getting a lot of stuff though. People that know me who have seen the vlogs, the pickup videos, they know me that I like to pick up a lot of stuff in big bundle deals. I think it's the people that, that just want one thing, one or two things, and it's like, already super cheap you know when i say super cheap like you know like under a hundred dollars let's just call it and they're like oh it's a hundred dollars you, you take 84 it's like i don't know i i don't want this to kind of come off as me like or complaining or just you know really being miserable or whatever it's just interesting to know because jeff wilson's cards hq store he's gonna have zero haggling and i i don't believe in that now when my mom's here or when Mrs. Murph is here, I tell them, hey, no haggling, no nothing. Whatever the price tag is, that's the price tag because they don't really know any better. They don't know like how to look up cards, comps, values, you know, certain percentages. Plus, I don't want people taking advantage of them. And it's just easier to be like no haggling at all. Boom. I have to be there to do any and all of that, which a lot of people understand. And that's great. And I don't think there's ever been an issue of someone not understanding, to be honest. But when I'm here, it's a different story. Again, I don't mind giving deals out to people. I want to give deals out. I want to be able to get cards at a great number, at a great deal, so I can pass that on to other people to get a card for cheaper, to be able to flip it down the road, or to do whatever they want with it so they feel good about that purchase, whether the card appreciates or depreciates over time. It's just really interesting to see Jeff Wilson kind of come out there and say, <laughs> and it just it kind of bears the question that how do people... Because, you know, I I don't agree with Jeff Wilson on a lot of things. I'm not the biggest fan of him. You know, him opening up a card shop is, I, I think, risky. But, hey, you know, maybe we can talk about that another time. But having to come out and say no haggling because this industry just assumes you can haggle. Again, people aren't going to Walmart and Targets of the world and haggling there. They're not going to any big box stores or online retailers and haggling there. So why do they assume that they can haggle at local car shops. It's just, it's something to really think about and to kind of, to just 
to kind of have a conversation about, really. And again, I'm not trying to sound whiny or anything like that. I really hope I'm not coming off like that. I'm just trying to start a conversation and just to shed some light on the topic, which I really never thought was going to be a topic, was haggling about price points. Because, you know, having a local card shop, a small business in general, is a difficult challenge, especially when someone like myself wants to offer the best possible pricing, whether you're shopping online or in person. And it's just some people really try to think that they can take advantage of of people by haggling, especially, again, if I don't know you, I've never seen you before, et cetera, et cetera, because I pride myself on relationships and connections with people, and I want to be able to support people who have supported the shop. And I think that's a very fair way to look at it. So just something I really wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully this video didn't come off the wrong way or was too boring or anything. Again, just trying to start a conversation. I think that's exactly what I was able to do here. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. A, a topic well out of left field, but something I felt like I should have made a video on. So let me know, guys, down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about haggling at shows, at shops, or really wherever? eBay, you know, shooting best offers. I'm very curious on what people think about haggling and trying to negotiate. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just there are some circumstances and some variables that can really play a factor in possibly negotiating, possibly haggling and, and such. Again, I don't blame Jeff Wilson for wanting to have a no haggling policy. I personally think it's, it's a little, little outlandish, I think, and a little unnecessary to kind of have. But hey, not my shop. I get it. But then again, I also kind of have my own philosophy when it comes to haggling. You know, so I want to hear yours down below in the comment section. And while you're there, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new or haven't considered subscribing. And I'll greatly appreciate the love and support. If you enjoyed this video, I've queued up an excellent video right here for you guys that I do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavor. So hopefully, I'll see you in that one.